this lecture, we'll be taking a look at head pointer in Git repository. So Git maintains a reference variable known as head, which is a pointer to the tip of current branch in repository. So to understand it better, let's go and explore our Git directory. So we are inside our hidden Git directory and here you can see two files, head and refs. So inside this, we have some directories. Now if I open up head file in my code editor and show you, so it says that it is referring to this path, which is refs slash heads slash master. Now if I take you to that particular file in my refs directory, heads, and then master, open it in text editor, you will see a SHA value over here. Now if I do a git log, as you can see in my terminal, you're finding this is the commit that we have. And here you can see the head. This is the branch. So in this branch, head is pointing to this commit that we have made. And as of now, it is the only commit in our repository. And that is what is being stored over here. So this also acts as a parent to the next commit that we will be making. So if I go ahead and make another change, then the head will move from this SHA value or ID to the new one. So here I've made some changes and now I'm staging them by using git add dot. After this, I need to commit it. And here we can commit it now. Now if I go ahead and see git log, you can see the head has not changed and it's not pointing to this new SHA value. So if I open up this master now, you'll find the updated value over there. So that's how the head keeps on moving and it keeps on pointing to the tip of the current branch in the repository. We don't have to do anything with the head stuff that we just explored. It's just that we need to know the nitty gritties of how Git actually functions, what it is doing behind the scenes in order to better understand the whole source code management workflow.